Hey everyone, Ian from Eurogamer back again with another Let's Play. This time I'm going to be playing Proteus. Now I've managed to get my hands on the on an early Steam key. Uh, Proteus is going to be available the full game on Steam on uh, January the 30th. And uh, yeah, I played Proteus for about two minutes at Eurogamer Expo. Uh, got bored, wandered off. So this is going to be my first time trying it out in my own home it's uh there's, see there's no real point to proteus it's a game of audio visual exploration and discovery by ed key and david kanaga um i hope that's how you pronounce his name uh yeah you just kind of walk around exploring things and the uh the music changes depending on how you interact with the world now um like I said, I did get bored the first time I played this. Everyone, uh, you know, all the critics are raving about it and how absorbing it is and how amazing it is. But let's see how um, how long this can keep my attention, uh, consider considering I'm the kind of guy that likes to run around shooting people in the face in video games uh, and causing mischief and generally being naughty. I like, uh, I love open world games. I love randomly generated games. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I love things like, you know, Minecraft and, you know, um, and what was the other one I recently liked? Teleglitch, uh, randomly generated, uh, you know, so and the worlds in Proteus are always randomly generated. It's creating one right now. But, is there a point to it? Are there any rewards? Are there any challenges? As far as I can tell, no. You just kind of left to your own devices. Um, I've spawned in the middle of a sea. Let's see a sunshine. Um, I've been playing a lot of games recently with uh, distinctively retro visuals. Uh, but to be honest, at the moment, um, AAA games aren't holding my attention too well. I'm loving indie games. Uh, yeah, the visuals on this game certainly are very distinctive and uh, very basic. Here we go, here's some of that audio. Now we've finally reached the island. Uh, Pink Blossom. I guess those must be bluebells. So, yeah. The music depend. The music changes depending on the weather, the season. And you literally, you left your own devices just to explore. I, oh, I dropped my phone, sorry. <laughs> uh, there's not too much to interact with as far as I can see. Well, I don't think there's anything to interact with. Uh, let's head into the rain, see how the music changes. You can hear the, uh, the rain pitter-pattering. I thought I saw some kind of structure on top of this hill, so let's go and check out the structure. Yeah, the music's going a little bit plinky plonky now. Oh, here we go. Big brown thing. Like a castle turret, I guess. Surrounded by clouds, I can't see anything. Let's come out of the clouds. <laughs> uh, let's just see again. I guess we'll head inland and see what's what. Oh, there's little pink mushrooms, maybe. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so, so far, um, I don't know what I can liken this to. Oh, ooh, animals, chase them! It's like running around a kid's painting. Oh, they check on. Chase a check on. Catch the pig. I wish there were pigeons and I could be like, catch the pigeon. Let's chase those pigeons. Where are they going to take me? Is that a path? Choices. Let's uh, go and chase the chickens for a little bit. Where are they going? Chickens. Chickens. I read somewhere that uh, one of the developers said that um, his 
they always felt like uh, they got the best feeling from someone like me who said they'd probably be bored playing the game, and then like they like, and then that person suddenly realizes they've spent 40 minutes playing the game. So uh, maybe, maybe that'll be me. At the moment. Yeah, at the moment it's not. I'm not that absorbed, <laughs> to be completely honest. Can't even jump. So this point in, like, if I was playing Skyrim now, it's the boring bits where you walk around in Skyrim, you can't do anything. So just keep jumping, buying, 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 jump, jump, jump. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not arty farty enough to uh, to get this game. Can I climb up this hill? It's a bit slow. This is more like a, this is definitely games as an art piece rather than um, games as a form of stress relief in the form of beating someone or uh, shooting people. I mean, uh, it's definitely a relax. Is that a gravestone? It's definitely relaxing. Some crazy structures on top of that hill. But it's, I've just come from that way, I don't want to go there. Uh, I don't want to walk all the way back over there. Um, it's relaxing, I just... I'm not sure... Do you know what? <laughs> I, I'm not... I can imagine some students sat in their... Uh, sat in their dorm rooms, high as a cow on wacky to packy getting well into this, totally totally failing their dissertations because of it, but um, younger gamers who are used to uh, Halo 4 multiplayer or uh, Cod Blobs 2, I, I, don't, I don't think this is going to really appeal to them. It's very pretty. I mean, maybe, maybe one of my problems, maybe one of the problems is that I'm talking over all this game and I should really be, you know, quiet and to it a lot, but you know, once you've seen one lollipop green tree, you've seen them all, whether they're pink or or blue. Don't know where these paths are leading me. Let's go over to there's some kind of structure over there. Now I don't know if I'm walking in circles or not. I'm probably not. Ah, oh, stars. What's this? What is it? It is a thing that does nothing. Oh, it makes a noise though. Boom. Can I touch it again? Boom. No. No. Can't click on it. Boom. It's like making a little nice bubbly noise. Boom. Uh, what's over the uh, the ridge here? Oh. The trees are wobbling. Is that them blowing in the breeze, I guess? Or... Is that something to do with the stone I touched? Mm. Oh, something's flying. Is that an owl? Let's go and see. Here, owly, owly, owly. I guess that's the uh, I guess that's the exploration part of the game getting me. Come here, owl. Where's he gone? Here's an owl. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. That's... Whoa. Days... The day cycle... This cycle of time is suddenly going crazy. The sun is flying through the sky. Is that... Because I'm in... This kind of stone... I'm in a stone circle. Yeah, day and night's going really fast. Okay. Things are getting interesting now. I don't really want to mission around at night time though, let's, uh, let's head out. I can't head out, why? I'm, uh, can't seem to exit <laughs> this stone circle. I'm, I'm trapped in a stone circle for what seems like eternity. Hello? Let me out of your magic circle of stones. Now every time I get to the edge, it just slows down and stops. I'm 
I'm freaking out now, man. What is this? Is it just a bit of a tree? Oh, God. It's at this point now that that university student would be, uh, pulling a whitey. Oh, what the f- what's happened? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, I'm back. I don't understand what happened, but I'm back. Things have gone crazy. Just when I thought I was bored, something weird happened and saved it for me. Maybe that's the point of the game. I don't know where I came from now, but I'm totally lost. Totally disorientated. What's this here? Let's go find out what this is. Whoa! What the? It's a sparkly bouncing thing. Yes, yeah, sparkly bouncing thing! What are you? <laughs> Doing! Whoa! That rabbit just committed suicide! If it was a rabbit. Poor little bastard. Okay. It's a castle again. Ah! Stuck. Hmm. Okay. Let us head... Oh, there's birds. Let's go find the birds. And there's bees as well. Bees. The birds and the bees. What are they? Paper... Uh, they're like those paper um, birds that you see in... I see them in Spirited Away, that Studio Ghibli film. Um, quite crazy. I don't know whether they're meant to be dragonflies or paper birds or what, but... Ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh. Why did my vision went all white then? Let's carry on going. Woo, wow. Pink things. top of here and see what I can see. Oh, it's slow going up this hill. What's over the crest of the hill? Oh. The music's gone a bit moody now I'm away from all the trees. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You gonna do it? Bloop, bloop. No. It's made a kind of boop noise. Um... Not much to see up here. Something pink down there, let's go. Let's see what this is. Ah! You don't break your legs at least. Hey! Another weird rabbit -y thing. Ding! Whoa. Chase him! Come here! Where's my far cry knife? I'll skin you and make a gun holster. Oh, he's. He's gone. He didn't want to get skinned then. Ooh, what are these? Crabs? Maybe? Yes, they're crabs. They look like space invaders. Yeah, this... This looks like Button Moon or the Clangers or something. Sunshine. Oh, your vision goes a bit crazy when you go in the sun. Uh. Well, there we go. That was my first step into Proteus. Uh, the full game will be available on uh, January the 30th uh, on Steam. It's going to cost you, uh, I think, $9.99. But yeah, that's from, uh, from the Steam store on January the 30th. And, you know, it's probably not a game that I'd play a lot, but it's definitely, definitely Moorish. There's definitely, um, there's definitely something deep in here, hidden away, that's stopped me from turning off about 15 times. Come here, chickens! The audio is, like, awesome. The graphics are kind of, kind of pretty. Cool. I, I do like retro graphics. This reminds me of like an old Acorn 
computer graphics or something. It's a fun game, it's charming, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, and uh, you guys can make your own minds up about it if you decide to download the full game at any point. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Eurogamer if you uh, want to see more Let's Plays of uh, unreleased games or crazy indie games and uh, lots of exclusive interviews on uh, 2013's biggest games and unboxings of special editions and gadgets. and There's loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff. You'd be silly not to subscribe. Right. I'm, uh, I'm off. I'm going to go and chase this weird... Whatever that is. I think it's a rabbit, but it doesn't look like a rabbit. I don't know. Come here! Come here! Yeah, so, see you next time. Oh, I don't want to turn this game off now. Bye! An owl! Oh god, there's an owl. Last time an owl came along, weird stuff happened. Oh. God, I wish I had a bow and arrow now.